Hello everyone, this is Jackie Zhao from caseprepmaster.com and in this video, this will be a continuation of the previous video that I've made on how to write the perfect consulting resume. And in this video, we will utilize the four key points of writing the perfect consulting resume that I've mentioned in the prior video to look at a real candidate and a real resume on and on how he has improved his re resume before and after using the four key points I've mentioned. And remember the four key points that are very important in writing the perfect consulting resume are number one, exhibit diverse skill sets and experiences. Number two, your resume content should be number driven. Number three, you should show impact and results in your past experiences. And number four, you should show interesting facts about yourself. All right, now let's continue and look at a resume. All right, so here to illustrate my points that I've just said and the four key points of writing a perfect consulting resume, I have included a real resume by a real candidate who applied to consulting jobs before and after editing it using the four key points that I have mentioned before. Remember, the four key points are that in your resume, you should include diverse skill set number driven approach you have to show impact and results and you have to show interesting facts about yourself so right now this resume that is shown on the screen is the resume that was unedited that was submitted to me you know, before using any of the four key key points so what you can do now is to pause a little bit and take a look at this candidate's unedited resume and see what you notice with respect to the four key points, whether he exhibited it or lacked it. All right, so how, hopefully after you've taken a look at his resume and bring all the insights and the four key points back to the resume of this particular candidate, you can already see why he did not land the interview slot. So the first point is that this candidate did not do well in key point number one, which was to exhibit a diverse skill set. As you can see, most of his experiences from professional to academic to achievements, you know, to extracurricular and leadership activities were all revolved around civil and structural engineering and did not exhibit the diverse skill set or the diverse experiences that recruiters are looking for. Key point number two, also this candidate lacked in it because the resume was not very number driven. If you look at this candidate's three experiences in his professional experience section, you see that numbers are truly lacking for this DeSimone Consulting Engineering in Miami, Sterling Engineering Consult Consultancy, as well as Kunal Structure India. Numbers are truly lacking in the bullet points. The only numbers that were shown are, for example, the 70 story residential high rise, you know, seven floors or 40 story. These were the only numbers that were shown. To better his chances to get an interview, this candidate should increase the word density of numbers, as well as include numbers that are more related to management consulting, such as that perhaps he worked for, you know, this first experience, he worked for DeSimone Engineering a 300 million US dollar revenue company and worked on a $25 million residential high rise project. So point number three, show impact and results. Again, this candidate did not do well in this regard because this candidate did not show that he made much impact in many, many of his internships and academic projects. Just to show as an example, what he could have written would be say, in his first professional experience at DeSimo Engineering that perhaps he reduced the cost of construction for the client by 25% using a innovative design or he, you know, using rigorous planning, completed the design phase using 15% less time than required. So these would be impact results, 25% cost reduction, 15% time reduction. Those would be the results that recruiters will be looking for in screening these resumes. And last but not least, the, the key point number four about interesting facts. Again, this candidate did not include any interesting facts either.
All right, so now let's take a look at this resume after I edited them, or actually the candidate edited them after using the four key points. Diverse skill set, number driven, show impact and results and interesting facts. So the first thing that you notice is there is a big change in the structure and the experiences that the candidate put in the resume. Instead of putting, you know, in the professional experience, all three experiences re with regard to civil engineering, now this candidate has put in, you know, the first one, De Simone Consulting Engineer, and then he became a research intern at the Indian Institute of Man Management. And then he was an analyst at the Stanford Kudlat Fund. So these are very diverse experiences, not just engineering, not just civil engineering, but a very wide range of experiences that are exactly what recruiters are looking for. So number two, let's see if this candidate increased, you know, numbers or, or did the density of numbers in his resume. And again, you can see an increase. For example, in the first bullet of the first experience, he performed analysis and design for seven floors of a 70 story high end, 1 billion US dollar residential sky skyscraper. So these are all already number drops, number densities that this candidate has already been implementing. Number three, show impact and results. Again, this candidate did that. In the second bullet, you can see he evaluated quantitative performance and then in the end provided a cost reduction by 15%. And last but not least about interesting facts, as you can see at the very bottom of this entire resume, he put in some skills and fun fact about himself, the fact that he polished a rough crystal into a sparkling diamond with full 57 clear facets on it after learning the art in two weeks. So, so that is very interesting something that he has done an interesting fact about himself that will boost his score definitely in the recruiter's eye as a recruiter screen for you know resumes in consulting uh, resumes for top consulting firms at mckinsey bcg and bain so basically after using and utilizing all four of these key points this candidate has made his resume significantly better so this concludes this video and on a real candidate using real resumes before and after the candidate utilizes for key, the four key points so for more videos as, such as this one as well as informational articles on how to get the interview at a top consulting firm as well as the past it case interview please visit www.caseprepmaster.com where we have more free information such as this one that will help you to land your dream offer at a top consulting firm.